Hi, I'm Malin Sarajevo Kelo from the RWSN Secretariat and I have here with me, can you please tell me your name, uh, organization and country you're from? Yes, hello. My name is Laura Lambert and I uh, work with Water Mission. I work with Water Mission headquarters based in the United States but originally from South Africa. Yes. And what is your role at Water Mission? My role currently, I serve as the Senior Director of Program Design at Water Mission and so what that means is um, essentially serving as a global advisor on program design, program implementation, our monitoring, our evaluation, our learning. So really looking at evidence-based programming and then using the data that we're collecting to really inform, you know, are we doing what we said we we're going to do? Um, are we learning from that? How are we adapting our programming? And so trying to take more of an evidence ap approach to program implementation. That sounds fascinating. And how did you get there? Can you tell us more or less in 30 seconds or so, what was your trajectory? So I've been involved in international development and relief for about 14 years. Um, and I really started out, I would say, um, learning how not to do international development and relief. And so this was really what triggered my journey to more evidence-based, um, you know, program design. So looking at what are the trends in the sector, what is the research that's coming out, and then how do we use that to inform how we do things. Um, so my journey over the last 14 years has been um, working directly as a field worker, like implementing projects, uh, drilling boreholes, doing borehole supervision, um, but working with community engagement and realizing that project-based solutions does not create sustainable change. You really have to take this more holistic approach to the work that you're doing. And so over the years, really focused my efforts on more holistic program design and implementation with communities being part of that process along the way. Um, you know, and so for me, um, you know, love technology, love innovative financing, but those things are not going to be the only thing that solved the water crisis. It's really people, and so how do you bring people along with you to, to create that change? And what did you study? How did you start your career? Yeah, so I'm very fascinated in people uh, and why we do the things that we do and the behaviors that we have. And so my um, background is in psychology, but oh. more from this international development perspective. And so understanding people's behaviors, what triggers that, and then how do we start to create some change. And so worked um, specifically in psychology and mental health and behavioral health, and then really took that to apply into international development. And, um, so over the years, my career has taken me from community engagement to technology innovation and implementation to now really focused on, okay, what is program design? How do we ensure sustainable service delivery models? Looking at behavior change, communication strategies, all of our health and hygiene training, all our you know, teaching curriculum, but it's all about adult education, right? And how do you change people's behaviors and, and what triggers that over time? I think for women especially, um, we've got to take risks, right? I mean, I, I left my home country at 19 years old. I was very determined that I was going to, you know, um, go and study overseas and really learn more about the world um, and not limit myself. And, and so took that, that leap and left my home country. And it's been now 17 years since I've been gone, but really always been open to, okay, um, what are some opportunities where I can continue to learn? And even now, 17 years later, I'm still thinking about okay, what's next? What can I? What can I be learning? So, I think as a as a as a woman, you know, in the in the sector, sometimes we uh, maybe we fear change, or we maybe fear like taking taking that risk. Or, um, but I would say just just go for that and and own it and um, own that risk taking, and, and don't be scared to to go somewhere new or to learn something new. Okay. That was fascinating. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having. Me.